This is the first of a three-part video in which the SOLIDWORKS deform feature will be shown. In this part, the point deform type will be presented. The point deform is based off a point and a direction. This tool can be used with any part regardless of its level of complexity. The feature can be found under Insert, Features, and then Deform. In the property window, make sure that point is selected under Deform Type and select either a vertex, line, or face. The location where the mouse is clicked is the point where the deform is centered around. A direction for the deformation can be chosen as well by selecting an edge or face for the direction. If a face is picked, then the direction is normal to that face. This direction can also be reversed if desired. The deformation distance can then be specified. This is the maximum distance the deformation will extend beyond the original surface. The maximum distance also corresponds to the original point that was selected for the deformation. By selecting the Show Preview under this heading, a preview of the deformation will be shown in the Graphics window. Under the Deform Region heading, the radius of deformation away from the point can be chosen. This determines the size of the area to be deformed. If the Deform Region box is selected, options for fixing faces and edges as well as choosing additional faces to be deformed can be picked. By fixing a face or edge, that particular selection won't be deformed. This is very useful to make sure that a part will still match up with other parts in an assembly. Additional faces or bodies can be selected so that they can be deformed in the same manner under one feature. Under the shape options, there are three different options for the stiffness of the deformation. The stiffness determines how rigid the deformation shape is. The accuracy of the shape can also be adjusted by moving the slider bar. This is useful to increase when there are high areas of curvature or if the deformation is not able to be created. The option to maintain boundary makes sure that the boundaries that are fixed do not change. This option is only available if the deform region is checked. If deform region is checked but maintained boundary is not, then another option called additional faces only is visible. This option makes deform feature only selected as additional faces to be deformed. The next two videos will be about the curved curve deform type and the surface push deform type. I hope you found this video helpful.